and welcome to the third episode of my Husky 101.5 Supermoto build. In the last episode I fixed up the engine, yeah, I completed rebuild of the engine and gave it this new uh, blacked out look uh, together with all new silver hardware from Bolt. If you haven't seen that, the playlist of the build series is linked in the description if you want to go and check out the last episodes. As I mentioned in the end of the last episode, I recently just went and picked up the frame and the swing arm from the powder coating place. And I also mentioned that I didn't choose a normal color for a frame, and uh, that I didn't do. So here's the frame with the powder coating that I chose to have on it. As I said, I didn't choose a normal color on it, and that's actually because I didn't choose any color at all. Oh man, I think this is going to look really, really insane together with a black engine. And the swing arm I did get powder coated in a black color. Uh, I'm super excited how this turned out. But now I think it's time to get the engine installed into the frame so we can do the swing arm and then after that probably do the suspension or the triple clamp and stuff like that. But first, let's get the engine back into the frame. The engine is now installed in the frame, so now it's time for the swing arm. It's powder coated black, but before I can put it back on the bike, I have to install some bearings again. bearings are now installed so now it's time to install the new chain slider and chain guide and after that get the swing arm mounted up on the bike It's time to install the linkage and as you can see it's black, it's because I have coated it to match the engine and I'm going to install it now because it's easier to do it now before I'm installing the swing arm. So here it is, the rear shock. I'm going to remove the springs and then I'm going to get some help taking apart the body of the shock, get all the oil and the gas as well as the seals out so I can coat it. So the spring is now loose so I can powder coat that and I'm also going to powder coat the triple clamp. But now I need to remove the bearings and all the parts from the triple clamp so I after that can sandblast. So now I have taken off the parts from the triple clamp. I'm going to zero coat all these parts together with the body for the rear shock. I have got some help taking this apart. So this should be ready to be cleaned, sandblasted and zero coated now.
the rear shock is now installed on the bike as well as the triple clamp and the new handlebar. So now it's time for the fork and also the cooling system. The radiators, they were really messed up, they were super bent and I have spent a lot of time getting them straight again. I also spent two days straightening out all the fins as good as I could and I think it turned out really good considering how bad it was before. And I have also pressure tested the radiators and they have no leaks. So now I'm going to tape up all the holes on the radiators so I can sandblast the radiators as well as the fork lugs because I'm going to Cerakote them in the Cerakote C-series.
So the suspension is back on the bike, the fork wrapped in the matte black vinyl, also the cooling system with the Cerakoted radiators. Uh, I also installed the new handlebars that I bought for the bike. So now I have done everything that I plan to do in this episode. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below what you think about the project so far. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos, because the next episode is going to be about the wheels and also the brakes. So thanks for watching this episode and I hope to see you in the next one.